In this video, we're going to cover how to set up and use fluid sizing in Agency Base version 2. So the settings page here, we've got fluid sizes, make sure it's enabled. And to start off with, this is basically what was fluid fonts in Agency Base version 1. We've went ahead and renamed it to Fluid Sizes since we made it much more flexible. And Fluid Fonts now has a little bit different functionality as discussed in a previous video. Fluid Sizes can still be used just as it was before as the old version 1 Fluid Fonts. There's nothing wrong with that. You can continue to set up your different sizes and um, apply them to the body text, H1 through H6 text, however you want to use that. But we're going to go a little more in depth in this video and show some of the additional flexibility we added and how that can be used to make your design a little bit more res fluidly responsive without setting up a lot of breakpoints. So first thing that's a little bit different probably that you'll notice is we have the option to add multiple fluid viewports. So this viewport that's currently set up all of the variables defined inside of this viewport are going to scale from 400. They're going to scale their values between the viewport widths of 480 pixels and 1120. So this title size one variable is going to scale from 30 pixels to 58 pixels. It'll be 30 pixels at 480 pixel viewport width and it'll scale fluidly up to 58 pixels at 1120 pixel viewport width. So this is just kind of left over from the old fluid fonts. I still have them set up just to show that that's still possible here. But if you have some variables that don't fit into these viewport widths and you want them to scale differently, you can add another set and set up, let's say we want the, the variables contained inside of this group to scale in between viewport sizes 600 pixels to 1600. And now we can go ahead and add another, um, another variable here. Let's just, this is just a random name and we want it to scale from 100 up to 350 pixels. So this new variable will, will now scale in between these viewport widths, 600 up to 1600 pixels. Anything below 600 is going to keep, it's going to maintain the 100 pixel value. Anything above 1600, it will stop scaling at 350. So, all right, so now that we've got that defined, let's go ahead and save it. And let's jump back up to here. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about one of the things that really got me excited building this functionality was the idea of fluid padding. Um, and to illustrate that, let's jump back into the oxygen editor here. And let's add another section. And let's just move that up. And let's, um, just so we can see this better, let's go ahead and set a background color on it and a text color. And we'll be talking more about the theme colors in another video. So let's add a heading in here just so we have something to look at. All right. So if we save that, refresh this over here on this page. All right. So as you can see, the default 75 pixel section padding is obviously a little bit too much once we get up to once we get down to some of the mobile sizes so what I've done is I went ahead and defined another variable 
just called it fluid vertical padding. And I set this to scale from 25 pixels up to 75. And under the map variables, we'll do another video on this section also, I've defined a selector that applies these fluid variables to the top and bottom padding. So now every time we add the fluid padding, if you look here at the selector, we're, um, we're applying this to all of this, the sections with the fluid padding class. So now we can come back into here. We can add a class to this, call it fluid padding. Save that. Come over here, refresh. And now, if we inspect this, we should see that we currently have padding top and bottom right here. And let's just make sure we should see this coming from our new variable now. And now as we scale this, if you watch this value right here, this should scale that padding down. And it looks like it's working correctly. So now that's a little bit easier. All you have to do to define a fluid section with fluid padding is just add the fluid padding class and it takes care of everything for you. No more setting breakpoints at three or four different sizes and trying to manage all of that. It's easily done just by adding a single class name to this. And of course you could take this as far as you wanted to. Um, the, let's say you have a a heading that doesn't fit well into the fluid fonts system, you can easily come back here and define a custom heading that you want to scale. Let's say you want to, you've got a really big heading, and um, so let's just say big heading, and actually, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's jump back to fluid sizes and inside of here let's define another fluid variable. Let's call this big heading and we want it to scale from let's say something like 60 pixels up to um, 120 pixel font size. So let's get this defined there. Go ahead and save that. And now, let's go ahead and map that to a class that we can use inside of Oxygen. So let's name this class Big Heading also. Let's set the property to font size. And let's set the value to this one. There we go. Save those settings. Come back into here. Go ahead and refresh the page. All right, so now let's take this and we're gonna override the fluid font settings that are applied to H1s here by giving this a class of big heading. All right, let's add that and immediately that took over from there. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's jump back over here, refresh the page. All right, so now let's inspect this. And we've got a font size of 120 pixels. And we it's correctly applied our new fluid variable, which is overriding the default that we have applied from the fluid font settings, which is step five currently for H1. So now if we watch the computed value, this should scale the font size all the way down to 60. And it looks like it's working correctly. So now we have a fluid section with some fluid text inside. And it all scales pretty accurately. It might need a little bit of work, but for the most part it scales quite nicely down to 400 pixels or so and all the way up to 1120.